Today, I'm excited to share a project close to my heart, bringing the beloved Hot Pot mini card game from Pelia into the real world. As the magic market in Pelia nears its end, many of us are saddened by the thought of bidding farewell to the Hot Pot mini game. Will Pelia ever be the same without it? We excitedly wait every day at the market for 6 p.m. in the game time to start our hot pot addiction. We keep playing until the Maji market closes at 3 a.m. It's the experience that we have all church, and the thought of waiting until next year to play again is super sad. I hope the Singularity 6 team keeps the hot pot as permanent within the game. But fear not, I've taken it upon myself to recreate the Hot Pot minigame in real life. Join me as I walk you through the step-by-step -step process of redesigning the game using Adobe software, printing it out and even creating a custom packaging and a playing pad. And stick around until the end of the video where I'll share a free PDF printable file so you can enjoy the game too. Phase 1 I've decided not to use the images provided on Wikipedia website due to the quality concerns. Instead, I retraced each card in Adobe Illustrator, ensuring crisp, high-quality vectors that can be resized without loss of details. I've even drew the rounded layout with each icon on each card and made sure to adjust it to fit the same Uno card dimensions by googling the width and height of printing Uno cards to make them identical. As for the illustrations on the cards, I kept them as is because they turned out good and were ready to use. Once done with each group, I illustrated the back of the cards from a screenshot that I took from the game and made sure to use the same colors as well. Then, I created an A4 file size to sort each set of groups, which took me 11 pages to finish. After done with the card design and satisfied with the result, I moved to phase 2, printing the cards, which was as straightforward as easy. You just need to first print out the front size of the cards, which are combined in an 11-page PDF in a A4 size. Once the papers are out from the printer, flip them to the other side, then print out the back card design 11 times. To make the cards sturdier, try printing them on a thick A4 paper type, which for me I found at a print store. Phase 3. Cutting the cards. It's easy but time consuming. I bought a paper cutter at the same store to speed up the cutting process, then trimmed the edges with a paper edge clipper that makes them perfectly rounded, which you can find at AliExpress, Shein, or Amazon. If not, it can be easily done with scissors. Phase 4. I loved how the cards turned out at the end, but felt something was missing. I needed to store them after all, so I decided to design a packaging for the game. I printed out a card packaging template that I found on the internet to understand how it's going to fold and compare the size to the printed cards. Using Adobe Photoshop, I created a custom template ensuring it aligns perfectly with the cards, leaving some spaces to stack the cards easily inside and out. After that, I added an eye-catching illustration I found from the Palia website. I wish I knew who the artist was, but I am absolutely in love with this masterpiece, which I had to trace for sure as it was an image, I used Adobe Illustrator to do that as well. I placed it on my packaging and created a clipping mask to make it visible on all sides. As for the game title, I wanted to use a similar font to this illustration that I found on the Pelia website and make it as close as possible using effects such as drop shadow, gradient, and stroke.
Phase 5. Printing and cutting the package. Cutting out the packaging took time and patience, but the end results were so worth it. I made sure to make a clean cut using combination of a scalpel and a paper cutter. When you print this out, make sure to cut off the bleed area. And for the foldable side, make a thin cut on the front without it appearing from the back to make it easier to fold in. With glue on the right side of the packaging, fold it to secure the packaging sides. And here we have it, a beautiful designed packaging, perfectly completing the card. Phase 6, designing and printing the playing pad. In Adobe Photoshop, I created an A2 printable file. I replicated the in-game hot pot design, tracing it before in Illustrator to ensure it was large enough for comfortable gameplay and great quality. After that, I printed it out on a cloth material that the printing store suggested on me to make it easier to roll and fold. I am super happy as I reflect on this project, I can't help but for hoping that the official Pelia merchandise will be out and includes a real life hot pot mini game. Singularity 6, are you listening? I will be super happy to buy this. But for now, I'm thrilled to share my creation with you. If you have recreated the game using my printable files, I'd love to hear about your experience. Please do tag me on Instagram or Facebook. Your support means the world to me. Thank you all for being part of this journey to bring the Hot Pot mini game to life. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content from my channel. Until next time, happy gaming. Goodbye. <laughs>